Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Ross. Today, we're going to learn how to tab between the different sections of a form with just a keyboard. Right? You got a single form here. You got some fields up top. You go tab, 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 tab. You got stuff down here in the form footer or maybe in the form header up top. Right? You come down here, you hit tab. What does it do? It jumps you to the top of the next record. Ah, ah, ah. No, I want to be able to go down to the form footer or maybe back up. That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. This is gonna be both a beginner and a developer video because there's a way to do it with just a keyboard, which I'm gonna show you for the beginners. And then if you're a little more advanced with your developers, you don't have to remember any special keystrokes. I'll teach you how to just jump right from this one down to here with a little tiny bit of code. One line of code, folks, just one line. Today's question comes from Ryan in Columbia, Maryland, one of my silver members. Ryan says, I've got several fields in my form footer that I want to navigate to using the tab key without needing to use the mouse. I'm the same way. I hate when I'm doing data entry. I hate having to stop and grab the mouse. Is there a way to jump from the last field in the detail section directly to the first field in the form footer? Yes. Let me show you the beginner way first where you can just hit a particular key. It's not the tab key, unfortunately but it'll do what you need it to do without any programming. Before we get started, if you are a beginner and you are not familiar with the tab order, tab stops, and tab cycle, go watch this video. Of course, watch my Access Beginner 1 class first. I do talk about tab order and that, but this covers a few other things you might find of interest. Here it is. It's on my website. It's on my YouTube channel. Go watch this and come on back. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can download off my website if you want to. And in here, I got a form, customer form. And let's say I got some stuff down in the form footer. Now, it could be just other fields, could be random stuff down here. So let's turn the form footer on, right click, and then form header footer. We don't use the page header footer, right? The page header footer is for printing forms, and we don't print forms, we print reports. So we will never use the page header, all right? Form header footer. Now you can use the format. If you want to put stuff up here in the form header too, that's fine. I sometimes put the ID up there because I don't want the user tabbing to it anyways, because they can't change it, right? So let's say we're going to put the, uh, the notes down here. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, maybe these three fields here. All right. Um, it's, it's really stylistically up to you if you want to have stuff in the form footer. Usually I use the form footer a lot for calculations, but you could have fields like a notes field down here. Um, in continuous forms, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, you can put your notes field down here and it'll be bound to whatever field you happen to be on, okay? Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of these buttons for the sake of argument here. Let's get rid of this is active and okay. So we got our fields in here, save it, close it. If I open it back up again, I start there in first name and I hit tab, 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 tab. All right, and it jumps to the first field in the next record, it went to record two. All right, first thing I wanna do though, is if you're gonna do this, if you wanna, if you like jumping between the sections, I like having it so it just cycles on the current record. That's my preference, that's what I like to do. So I'm gonna go up here to the form properties, this little square right there, go to other, and I like to change the cycle to the current record only. That's just something I like to do. This way, no matter how many times you tab, it just stays on the same record. If you wanna go to a different record, you can just come down here and hit the next record button, just like that. Now, if you are a keyboard warrior and you wanna move between the records, control page up and page down. So control page down will move you through the records that way or page up, okay? If if this is the stuff you do every day, you just, you just remember it, right? Control page up, page down. Okay, now I said there's a keyboard shortcut to move between the different sections. Yes, it's the F6 key. Again, you just got to remember it, write it down, put it on a sticky note. Eventually, it'll stick. If you hit F6, it'll jump you down to the next section. Now, here's the problem. Hit F6 again, and it jumps you over to the navigation pane. Now, you're over here, right? Hit F6 again, and now you're down here. So, F6 is a bit of a pain. Now, it's up on the ribbon. Now, it's back in here. Now, it's there, right? Shift F6 will go backwards. So, if you want to take the time to remember that, Maybe even put it on a label right here, right? F6 to go to the form footer. That's up to you, okay? So that's the non-programming keyboard method. F6, shift F6, and of course, control page up, page down if you wanna move through the records. All right, what about the way to make it easy? So when you're up here and you hit tab, 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 now I want it to go tab down into the notes section, right? How do we do that? Well, 
We need one line of code, one line of VBA code. But we got to just know where to put it, right? Now, first, if you've never done any VBA programming before, don't panic. It's not hard. Just go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It'll teach you everything you need to know to get started. So go watch this. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into design view. We're going to find the field that we want to be on. So when the user hits tab, we're going to grab that tab key, right? The key press on the keyboard. And we're going to say, okay, if I see a tab key while you're sitting here, I want you to jump there. Okay. So open up the properties for country or whatever the last field is in your detail section. Go over to events and you want to find key down. Now there's key press and there's key down. For this, we're going to use key down. They're, they're slightly different in the way that they work. There's key down, key up, key press. I actually have another video coming out soon on the differences between the three of those. But for now, let's just focus on key down. Hit the dot, dot, dot button. That'll open up your VBA code editor. It's over here. Let me resize it. Come here. Yeah, there we go. We don't need the project explorer, so I'm just going to close that. All right, nice and simple. I'm in country key down. Now, the key down event gets two things. The key code, which is what key was pressed, and then the shift key, which indicates whether the control, shift, or alt keys were pressed. We don't need that for this example right now. Okay? So, what I'm going to say in here is if the key code equals, it's a special key called VB key tab. That's a special constant, right? Then, so in other words, if I see the tab key come in while I'm on the country field, where do I want to go? I want to go down to the notes field. So I'm going to say notes dot set focus. That says move over to the notes field. That's it. That's all you need. That's a one line of code. All right. If key code equals VB key tab. And notice how that camel case, right? It capitalized those because access recognizes that as a constant. Then notes dot set focus. All right. Debug compile once in a while. Save it. Close it. Close it. Open it. And here we go. Tab, 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 tab tab and i'm right down there see that uh -huh. pretty cool pretty cool now let's keep going tab 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 now it's just cycling in the footer okay so we can do the same thing with the credit limit field when it hits credit limit if i hit tab here jump back up here to first name we're never going up the customer id because it's just you can't change it anyways it's just for it's just to sit there and look pretty right so Right now, come in here. I'm, I'm gonna. I want you to pause the video right now, and I want you to do it on your own. Right? Credit limit, and then what do we do from here? Did you get it? You get it to work. All right. Go to events, key down, dot dot dot. Same thing. If key code equals VB key tab, then first name dot set focus. Save it. I like to throw in a debug compile once in a while. Close it. Close it. Open it. Tab, 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 and I'm back up top. And that's it. See, one line of code. A lot of stuff in Access really is it's just one line of code. We'll do what you need to do. It's really super cool. You just got to know where to put that line of code. All right, so what if you want to go backwards? What if you go tab, 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 you're down here, and you want to go back up the country with a little shift tab? Oh, that doesn't quite work, did it? Well, let's see here. Tab, 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 tab. Shift tab. No, no. It went back to the one before that in the tab order, which is over here. So that's going to need some additional coding. Also, what about continuous forms? All right in here, you want to go tab, 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 tab. But what if you get to the bottom? Right down here, you want to go tab, 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 and have it come down here in the footer if you have a blank record. Right? Well, how do we do both of those things? We'll talk about that in the extended cut for the members. I'll show you how to use shift tab to go back up to here. And we'll talk about doing it in a continuous form. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. All of them. There's like hundreds of them now. And uh, gold members can download these databases and everybody gets free classes. And becoming a member is just it's, it's what the cool kids are doing. So slap that join button. And if you have any questions, let me know. But that is going to be your tech help video for today. Hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. A special thank you and shout out to our diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. 
One is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your Access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free access level one course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward, <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks. If you do decide to join as a paid member, there are different levels. Silver, Gold, Platinum, and Diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members 
get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.